Hello, my loves. If you would like a personal reading, my email will be in the description box. And just to let you all know, I created a beautiful dating game called Dare to Bear It All. You see the wine glass tipped over. That's my creativity. But either way, <laughs> this game is like a dating game to get to know somebody better. It has like really interesting questions um, on each card and fun challenges for date night, okay? So if you're interested in buying this game, spice up your date night, it's gonna be in the description box. Um, and let's get into this reading for you, Sages. Ooh, I hear uh, some of you are gonna be quitting your job. Um, Cause I, for some reason I just heard two weeks notice. Some of you guys are about to put in your two weeks notice. Whoever this is, you're you're very excited. You're very excited about leaving this job. Um, I even hear like case manager. Some of you guys can do social work. And you could either be leaving your job, A, to travel around the world, because I see somebody traveling, or B, you have a better offer or you're going into business for yourself. Um... This is something that you've been planning for a long time because I hear spirits saying stop stop procrastinating and take your time. Just just go go slow. You know? So right now that could be the advice for someone if you're getting scared. If you already left your job or if you're about to leave your your job, you're you put in your two week notice and you're about to start your own business, spirit is saying for you to go slow. You know, take your take your time and you will you will develop your skills as you go. You will feel empowered as you go. You will meet empowered people on your journey as you continue to go forward. Um, so this is going to be really good for you. Honestly, for whoever this is, it's like you need this. You you need it. It's like it's time for you to grow. It's almost like you you've been at your job for so long, and it's like you need to spread your wing. You need to spread your wings. It's almost like it's time for you to step out your comfort zone. You could even been at the same company for the longest time and it's time for you to like spread your wings. It's, it's like um, a transformation for growth, all right? Because you, you've been stagnated or you've been feeling like you just don't belong there anymore. So that's gonna be for some of you. Um, what else is going on for Sagittarius for this month? For some of you... Whoever this reading is for, you seem single. I'm only saying this because I see you walking um, and getting lots of attention. Like people trying to stop you, people trying to get your attention. For some of you, I just heard like fit fitness coach. Some of you guys could be fitness coaches. If it's not that, you just gotta, you just hired a fitness coach. Um, and I don't know why I hear diary. You could notice yourself journaling more. If you went through a period where you felt like you don't know who to trust, you're going to notice that you start to journal or write in a diary more. Like that's where you place your secrets. That's where you write. That's where all like your deep emotions. I see you with pen and paper and you just writing your heart away. Some of you guys could be a songwriter. Maybe that's something that you do. Maybe you're good at poetry. Maybe you're good at songwriting. Um, yeah, like you're good at lyrics. This can even be you just trying to pan out your, your next, and I hear debut, I hear album. Some of you guys can literally have an album about to come out, about to release. I hear this summer, this summer you could be dropping an album. Um, and if you are a, a, a singer, you could be changing your record label. It's like you got you got backstabbed. Whoever you were working with before, you were like you got backstabbed, and you just want to make sure that whoever you work with moving forward that you can trust. It's a lot about work. A lot of you Sagittarius is thinking about money moves, thinking about changing things up. It's like you could have came through came out of a period where your coworkers weren't getting along, or it's just not where it was at. This is not where you're happy. This is not the environment that you would like to work at. This is not the environment that you feel supports you or supports your growth. And if it was like a record label. This record label wasn't su supporting your growth or they could have been taking more money than they could have been giving you. And this is all about change. This is like change towards abundance, you know? 
you could have been in like the hangman for a very long time. The hangman just means like things that's just been stagnant. It's like stagnant. It's like weary. It's like frustration has been taking a, a toll on you. And I hear lucrative. Some of you guys are about to start a very lucrative business. Um, and I hear cold chills. You'll know if this is for you because when you when you listen to this, you'll get cold chills. Cold chills just means that this this is your message. This is like maybe you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this. It's like you want the go. And you've been planting seeds. So it's like a lot of you believe believe in manifestation. You believe in the, the, the power of a miracle or manifestation because you planted these seeds a few years ago. And it's like now it's starting to, um, it's going to start to happen for you, like right before your eyes. And it, it starts out very slow. And then all of a sudden it's just rapid, rapid. You just grow really, really fast. All right. Um. Yeah. Self-employed, gain, gainfully employed. If you went through and, you know, you know, the theme that I'm getting for you, it's like from stagnation to flow and abundance. I could, I could possibly title this that it's like you, you have no, you have nothing to worry about. And I feel like if you're coming to this video, you're coming because you're worried. Like, where are my blessings? <laughs> When is things going to start to move forward for me? I know I'm doing my part, but like, what is it? What are the blockages, spirit? What did, what's going on? Why am I not seeing the results of my manifestation? You're, you're worried. Will this work? And the answer is everything is going to be okay. Like I hear staying up later than you should. You could have been really, really deep in thoughts and just worried. And it's like, everything is going to be okay. Whether you realize it or not. If you've been praying, your prayers have not went unnoticed. Like the angels are hearing you. They're backing you up. They had to, um, why, why, why was there so much stagnation? That's a good question. Let me see. There was a lot of stagnation for a few reasons. The first thing is you, you wasn't really clear on what you truly wanted. It's almost like sending Sending and I hear generational curses was preventing you from moving forward. It's like you had to clear out and make space and make room in your life for these blessings. You couldn't carry your pain or your past into this promised land, is what the issue was. You know? It's like you could have you could have pretended as if like, oh, I'm over this, I don't really care anymore. But then you realized every time you tried to move forward, you you stopped. It's like you could have been stopping your own self, being being afraid, not afraid of failure some of you just like terrified of failure what if I fail what if I don't make it it's like fears and doubts not probably some of you not having the the right support group around you in order for you to carry this dream um some of you even connected to the wrong people that could have stagnated your dreams it's almost like you'll have such strong discernment and your intuition will be heightened because of what you've been through so you'll be able to tell, like, you won't even have to go through that. Can I trust them? Can I not? It's like you can tap into your own, your own gut to see instead of having to walk into something blindly and then get stabbed in the end. It's like, you don't have to go through that being stabbed anymore. You can just tap into your gut and you can tell whether something's good or, or bad because you've been, you've experienced all kinds of people, lazy people for some of you, lazy people being around you. Uh, narcissistic people being around you, codependent people being around you. You've experienced, you know, um, sociopaths around you. You experience so many different types of uh, energies and personalities that it's like you you can look at a person now and be able to discern. And I hear living more hap happy. It's like you had to find happiness again. You didn't know what made you happy anymore. So that's why you were in the hangman. You had to you had to rediscover yourself. You had to figure out you had to get your mojo back, baby. You had to reclaim this victory that you almost felt sorry for yourself. You almost felt vic victimized. You were very scattered brain, very confused. And it's like that had to clear out in order for you to move forward. What else is going on? And Spirit says, keep going. The path will become more clear and clear as you go. And that's for some of you. It's like, if you want to take a chance on something, jump and take it. Spirit says, as you move forward into it, it'll become more clear and clear where you're meant to be. 
Like you got to trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. You will figure it out as you go. My apologies, um, Sagittarius. But let me continue with the reading. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Who is in your life right now? I hear watching you from a distance. Um, or somebody may see you from a distance. I hear they can't take their eyes off of you. It's been a long time since they have come across anyone like you. So... It could be someone, and I hear clairvoyant. They can also have a a, a psychic get a psychic gift. The ability to tap into their intuition as well, and I hear in plain sight. So it could be someone who's around you. Um, is this somebody new or somebody old? I hear coming out the blue. So for you, for you singles, this seems sing like a single, because I hear like I feel like I've I've met you from some like somewhere. I feel like I've seen you before. So to me, it's like, um, yeah, somebody who comes out the blue, somebody who could have been around you all along, but you guys never met each other, or you never locked eyes before, see each other around. So for some of you, um, it's gonna be like a new energy that's gonna come towards you. And I hear guaranteed. Many of you could be worried too. Like, will I ever find love? And it's, for many of you, it's like you're you receiving the love that you truly want is guaranteed. Um, let me see. For some of you, you may meet this person through a friend. Some of you may even like let your friends help you when it comes to like releasing somebody from your past. Um, and there's two things that I hear too. I hear joining you for good. If it's if it's not like a brand new person for you singles, it can also be the renewal of a relationship and you have your friends who are helping you. I hear giving you advice. They're giving you advice and I hear gifting you. You may even have friends who give you a gift because of how good you are to them but I hear clinging to the past if you if you singles are struggling to find love or you always find someone who's always holding on to someone from their past or stuck in their past it's because you were stuck in your past too you know they say like att attracts like so if you are struggling it's because you were attached to your past too this is why you would find people who are also struggling with their past um I hear, I hear it again. It's been such a long time since I met anyone like you. And I feel like what the person likes about you the most is like your, your conversation, your level of depth. They probably haven't had someone who could like speak on these topics or speak with such depth. It's like um, you are very mentally stimulating to this person. And they're they're happy about that, you know? To me, this gives me like, this person could be like an old soul. So when you're an old soul, you could be really like, mellow chilled out you know um and love to have like conversations and and appreciate like uh intimacy and appreciate getting to know people and and, and creating like a solid foundation um And I keep hearing like you are really pretty. You are really pretty. Whoever this person is that you're gonna meet, they're gonna they're gonna feel like you are so beautiful, like very attracted to you. They also gonna find you to be very sensual, very seductive, very kind and calm. And your laughter. There's something about your laughter that brings them laughter. They're gonna be happy to make you happy. It's gonna be one of those types of peoples. So if you're not with somebody right now, this is the type of person that's about to come into your life. Let's see. Yeah. Whoever this person is, you, you caught them in. It says calling in your soulmate. You might also have an ex who's trying to call you back in. Some of you may not want to hear that, but they, they want to just see. It's like, 
for some reason, they feel like they never really gave this love a chance. And they just want to see. It's like they just want one more chance with you just to see. Like, was it was it me? <laughs> was it me? Was I the one that was the downfall of this? Or, or let me see if I switch up how I'm with you. Will it and follow through? I hear follow through because you probably had an ex who was inconsistent. If I take a chance on this and I truly follow through and stay consistent, would I be able to have the love that I want with you? Somebody's going to wonder, wonder that because I hear childish. You could have felt like they were childish or in your gut. Deep down in your gut, you felt like there was something off with this person. And the only thing that was wrong with them was that they were just emotionally unavailable. They were they were incapable of holding you, you know? It just seems like they weren't as mature or as ready as you were. Um, and they're they're thinking about you. They're just wondering, like, if they truly invested in this, will this... Will, this, will they have a breakthrough in love? So you have two people. You're calling in someone new and someone from your past is calling you in. I hear stable and humble, down to earth, won't play games. Who's this person from the past? You could have walked away from somebody. It's like you you thought you could trust this person and they let you down. You know? It's like they brought you to tears. That's what it's showing. I trusted you. You let me down. You didn't even see my tears. It's like you could have you could have been so hurt and broken by this person. Um And then what about with the I hear young and successful. This person is going to be young and successful. Yeah. Whoever this other person was, it's like they were not even, they weren't financially stable. They didn't have it all together. Um, they saved your text messages. If you sent them pictures, they, they still have the pictures. It's like they felt like they could be themselves with you. And this is exactly why they're calling you back in. It's like they felt like they could just be their real true self. It's like you brought that out of them. Like being themselves, you brought that out of them. They felt so comfortable with you. But they didn't, they were not financially stable, you know? Um, let's see. And they're not over you. I am not over you. So it's like they just want a chance. They want a chance to see if this can work. Um, for many of you out here selling yourself short, you, you are working on yourself. You hope that things get better when it comes to your love life and what you call in because you felt like you were se sell selling yourself short when you were with this person. I hear looks can be so deceiving. It's like they could have looked like they had it all together. On paper, they looked good. But then when you do the, the background on them, it's like they weren't, they were a mess. And it's almost like for some of you Sagittarius, this was like a child, like a you know them you know them types of grown adults that is like a child. It's like somebody who you thought was together, but in the end, it's like you end up having to help them. You had to like bring bring a lot of things out of them that they didn't have inside of them. And it's like, wait a minute, I thought I was meeting a mature person who was capable of meeting me on my level. Um, energetically, you guys could have shared the same core wounds and this is what attracted this person to you in, in the first place. Let me see. And I hear friend zone. Some of you guys kind of felt friend zoned, like they were kept putting you in the friend zone. You felt like it just wasn't going to take off and you felt like it was unfair. Let me see. What was the issues? Yeah. This person you need to forgive. I feel like you are going to forgive them. The only reason why I feel that way is because when, when I have this card, it's like, I don't feel heaviness in my spirit. So this could be what's clearing out of your energy. This this could be you two coming together to forgive each other. You having a, like a sit down or a conversation. To me, this even seems like just over the phone. This can just even be over the phone with, with this person. And it's like the chemistry was good. The sex was good, you know, purely physical sexual attraction, but it like run fast. It burnt fast. 
It was nothing, nothing to hold, nothing to hold the connection. You know, it could have been built on lust. It could have been built on lust. It could have been built on illusions. Of course, it's going to be built on illusions if a person tries to lie to you about who they truly are and what, what they have. It could have been a situation like that. They never really brought their true self to the table. So you didn't, you didn't know, um, that they needed this much inner work or they just needed so much guidance and help. It's almost like you felt like a parent to this person. So they didn't, they didn't bring forth their true self. And this, this is why the relationship fell apart. You can't build a real relationship on some, on lies that could have shattered it. And because you were so emotionally invested because the, the chemistry and the sex was so good, it's like you could have kept holding on or holding on to hope. Or... Let me see. How does this person see you? I just heard like I'm willing to do what it takes. I'll step up if you give me another chance. So like I said, you're going to have somebody in your past wanting to get another chance with you. They're like a silent lover, like st silently stalking you probably in the back, trying to get themselves together to catch up to you to feel like, like they're on your level. Let me see. How do they how do they currently view you? This cross watcher. Yeah, I knew it. They calling you in. They see you as a, a, a second chance, another opportunity for love. I hear like I'll be lying to you if I if I was to tell you that I didn't miss you. Like I missed you so much. This person miss you, they miss you. Um Tell me more about them. Aww. How else are they seeing you? They 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 also see you like broken hearted. They know that you, they know that they caused you heartbreak. Clarify the heartbreak. Yeah. Because you found out about who this person truly was and what was going on in their life. It's like they feel like you are heartbroken. But they have so much love for you nonetheless, you know? Um... I hear like you need to get your priorities together. It's like their priorities not even together. For some of you, you may even have a child with them. And now you guys have to co-parent. You're tired of going back and forth with this person. It's like if you really wanted to stay in our lives and if you really wanted to do good by us, you would just do it. Like I'm tired of trying to force you into being a father or force you into being a man. I shouldn't have to do this. It could be another situation like that for some of you guys. You felt you feel really, really let down and broken by someone that you had a child by because you expected more out of them. But they were just childish and manipulative for some of you. Let me see. Tell me about the new the new soulmate coming towards Sagittarius. Yeah. I don't think this person's in your life because it shows the waiting card. It shows two of cups. Like it's going to be a soul connection when this person comes in. But it's like there's like a waiting period and a grace before this person enters into your life. Clarify the two of cups. It could be a Virgo that's going to come your way. Um, it could be a Pisces that's going to come your way. Tell me more. It could be a, a Sagittarius that's going to come your way. But I see this person like coming out, you know what I'm saying? It's like you you happen just to meet each other or bump into each other, like a very spontaneous way that you two come together and meet. <laughs> and your past person is like, I couldn't afford you anyway. I feel like <laughs> they feel like they couldn't afford you, but you were so fun to be around. And you were so humble and you made them laugh. They think about you all the time. It's the memories of you too that, that they share with you that it's, it's like hitting them. Yeah. This person is going to be a king of wands that's going to have so much love for you. This person got a lot of love in their heart to give. This king of wands is looking for someone right now. They're looking for a soulmate. They're looking for someone right now. All right, Sagis, I'm going to go over into the extended... 
I'm just going to do a spread on your ex and I'm going to do a spread on your new person and any other downloads or messages I'll give to you. Okay. I send you so much love and light.